Hi everyone, this is Dr. Nitin Choda and welcome to this episode of Ignition Time. On this channel, we talk about important matters that pertain to the country, that pertain to the economy, as well as your money. Now, the good news is that the IRS has just released information about the next batch of stimulus checks. Again, this channel is about the country, the economy, as well as your money. Now, even if you already got your stimulus check, which by the way, if you did, congratulations, I'm happy you got it. There is a chance that someone you know, maybe a friend or a family member, did not yet get their stimulus checks. Now, in that case, you might find this video extremely valuable and you may want to click the share button below the video and share this video with friends and family. Let's just jump right in. New information is emerging from several different news organizations that the IRS is scheduled to release the next batch of stimulus payments in 48 hours this Wednesday. March 24th. So this is brand new information that is now emerging from the IRS. So more payments are now starting to go out. The second wave of direct deposits is going to happen. More checks will be in the mail as well as direct deposit payments will be mailed out. Let's show you this headline on your screen from Fox. Next round of $1,400 stimulus checks will start arriving this Wednesday and the direct deposits, uh, the processing started on Friday and will be available Wednesday. So more people will now start getting the stimulus checks by direct deposit. Here's another headline on your screen this time. This is from CNN. Next batch of stimulus payments ramps up paper checks and debit cards. So if your direct deposit information, everyone is on file with the IRS and you haven't gotten your payment already, you should, you should see a payment on Wednesday this week if you're in the second batch of deposits. Now, sometimes banks advance you the money even before they get the money from the US Treasury. So keep in mind that if this happens, that's normal because the bank knows they're going to get the money. So what they do is they go ahead and advance you that money. So keep that in mind. So this is, a, this is extremely encouraging. The next batch of stimulus payments will ramp up paper checks as well as debit cards. So this is, this, is, this is really awesome. So here's another headline on your screen, folks. This is what Bernie Sanders is up to really quick before I give you the schedule of the checks. Bernie Sanders wants to push prescription drug reform using the process of reconciliation. So he wants to try and lower the cost of prescription drugs. And also here's, a, here's an interesting side note. This is reported from Jeff Stein over at the Washington Post. And here's a statement from Sunrise Movement, which, by the way, is a movement of young people seeking to stop climate change. They responded to the three trillion dollar stimulus plan from President Biden for the Build Back Better agenda. This is the infrastructure plan. This is the next major stimulus. And they said, while this recommendation would be a huge step forward, the crisis we face demands at least one trillion dollars per year over the next decade, even Manchin. This is Joe Manchin, the conservative from West Virginia, called for four trillion. So, folks, uh, <laughs> it looks like there's going to be a whole, a whole lot of spending, a whole lot of spending coming our way. Now, let's get back to the second stimulus checks, everyone. So, new data suggests that a second round of stimulus checks will arrive this week by direct deposit, and uh, the check direct deposit process started last Friday. Remember, this is the second batch, okay? Because there was one batch last week. I'm talking about the second batch that should be available, that should be deposited in bank accounts starting Wednesday of this week. Again, that's Wednesday this week, March 24th. And this was a news release from the, from the U.S. Uh, Treasury Department and the IRS. And this includes, according to the U.S. Treasury, a large number of checks and prepaid debit cards. And they are, they are encouraging, this is what the U.S. Treasury is doing, encouraging people to watch their mail very carefully. So you want to watch your mail carefully because what happened, with the CARES Act was that when they sent out prepaid debit cards, a lot of people thought it was junk mail and they actually threw, they actually threw those cards away. And this created a lot of problems for a lot of people. So, so far the IRS has already delivered checks to 90 million, 90 million of our fellow Americans. So this is actually good news that they've actually done that. And uh, the initial payments totaled more than $242 billion. Now, in case you didn't know, here's a fun fact for you. Out of the one 0.9 trillion dollars, the, the American Rescue Plan, 400 billion dollars was set aside. That is approximately, I would say approximately just, just over 20% of the entire 1.9 trillion dollar American Rescue Plan, 400 billion dollars was set aside for stimulus checks. Now, I want you to really think about this for a second, okay? 400 billion dollars set aside for stimulus checks in the 1.9 trillion dollar American Rescue Plan. I have a question for you. The wealthiest 1% of our fellow Americans, the richest 1% of our fellow Americans, 
how much do you think their wealth increased by okay how much do you think their wealth increased by in 2020 you want to guess the answer to that question is 4 trillion dollars yep their wealth increased by 4 trillion dollars now why am i telling you this 400 billion dollars sends out 1400 dollars stimulus checks to 85 percent of american households right now you multiply that times 10 you get 4 trillion dollars the amount of wealth increase not total wealth the amount of wealth increase of the wealthiest 1% of Americans in one year during the pandemic is enough to send out $1,400 stimulus checks to 85% of American households 10 times over because $400 billion was one stimulus check of $1,400 to 85% of American households including adult dependents. You multiply that by 10, you multiply 400 billion by 10, you get 4 trillion and 4 trillion was the amount of wealth that increased for the wealthiest one percent of our fellow americans in 2020 yeah just think about that for a second if that doesn't blow your mind i don't know what will so the irs has already sent out checks to 90 million of our fellow americans which is approximately 242 billion dollars so the irs has already sent out payments to more than half more than half of our fellow americans everyone so that is encouraging so you know they've been uh, they've been moving fairly quickly and the IRS Commissioner Chuck Reddick said in a statement, the IRS continues to send the third round of stimulus payments in record time. The $1,400 payments, as you know, are part of the American Rescue Plan. And I've talked about uh, the thresholds before. If you have, if you're a single filer with an adjusted gross income of $75,000 or less, then you'll get the full stimulus check. If you make more than $80,000, you won't get anything. And as far as couples are concerned, adjusted gross income of $150,000 or less, will receive the full $1,400 based on your most recent tax return 2019 or 2020. So what is interesting is that uh, many of our fellow Americans made less in 2020, didn't do so well in 2020. So if your 2020 tax returns indicate that you have a higher eligibility, then the IRS said they'll go back and mail more stimulus checks. So that is a, that is a very interesting thing. Now the IRS has uh, suggested uh, the use of a get my payment tool. So in fact, here, let me show you the tool everyone. This is the tool on the IRS website. And by the way, you'll get a link to all the articles, all the resources in the description section below. The third round of economic impact payments here. This is the get my payment tool. And uh, definitely, uh, you know, feel free to use the get my payment tool to, uh, to track your payments. But folks, that is it. That is it in a nutshell. Where things stand right now is that the IRS is indeed sending out the third round of stimulus check payments. And the next round, if you will, of the $1,400 payments will start arriving this week and again uh, different news organizations have indeed started reporting this which is uh, which is very encouraging this uh, right here is an article that was published uh, by fox so more and more payments are starting to come in this this indeed is this indeed is very encouraging let me know if you have any questions if you do get your stimulus check type it out in the, into the comment section below you if you haven't received it already and your direct deposit information is on file with the irs you could be in the second draft of payments, which is expected to be deposited this Wednesday, March 24th. So I hope you learned something new. I'll be very happy if you do get it. Type out in the comment section below and let us know. My name is Dr. Nitin Shoda with Ignition Time. Please, please click the like button. Please subscribe. Please enable notifications. I would really, really appreciate that. Thank you so much for watching. I want you to know I work hard for you. I'm very happy to report that more of our fellow Americans, um, you know, my, my friends, my family, if you will, watching the channel, viewers, subscribers. By the way, if you're not a subscriber yet, please consider clicking the subscribe button. Please enable notifications and that way you'll get instant alerts from our channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next episode of Ignition Time. Thank you. I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.